Welcome. We describe Haute Couture. It's expensive, fashionable, and produced by the leading fashion houses. Today's restaurant takes a sophisticated approach to an American classic, the hot dog. Yes, you heard right, the hot dog. We are going to taste a haute, chic approach to the American favorite. Stay tuned. Take oh God. me out to the ball <laughs> game. This is his one moment, guys. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I'm a shower singer and I've been practicing. You've been practicing, and then thousands of people know now that you have a voice, okay? I'm die for um, <laughs> All right. Well, guys, before we get started, I want to introduce you to a friend of ours. One sec. Hello. How's it going? Welcome to Hot Dogs. This classy lady and her family are doing a sophisticated approach to an American classic. The hot dog. No, the hot dog. And fries and burgers and a number of items. Guys, this is love in real estate. Hi, my name is Amanda. My name is AD. And we run a local real estate company called the Dapo Group. Every week, we're going to take you into communities and experiences in D.C. and the surrounding areas. Just think of us as your personal real estate agents. Enjoy the show. My speaker. You know, oh kids my. who grew up in the 90s. Yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, my God. We had so much more personality. <laughs> oh, hey there. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. You just came in on a really uncomfortable conversation. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to jump directly in to our awesome owner, Miss Chloe. Hello. All right. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm, I want to rush through this to get to the food, to be very honest, because I don't know what to expect. It's I don't coming know. in hot, right? Hot. Oh, I love that. There we go. So good. <laughs> so good. All right. Why hope dogs? So, once upon a time, um, my mother, <laughs> my stepfather, and I dreamed of owning a family business. I love that. You know, um, which sounds a lot more romantic, right? <laughs> but once you get started, it's a, it's a really fun time. Um, so my grandfather, my mother's father, had decided that he thought hot dogs themselves could be taken up the culinary totem pole if given enough thought, good quality ingredients, and some specialty recipes. So he passed and it kind of dawned on us that this was always what we really should open. We toyed with fine dining, we toyed with steakhouses, we were trying to figure out what our niche would be and we realized there was nothing like it. So we decided to elevate the American classic, take it up the culinary totem pole. I love that statement. Take the hot dog, I'm not even gonna say it anymore, the hot dog, <laughs> and take it up the culinary totem pole. And that's exactly what our experience is going to be today. Absolutely. What are we going to have first? We're gonna start with the lamb. Mm. So the lamb is an incredible sausage. Um, so we do a lamb sausage. All of our meats come from two farms. So we have a farm in Loudoun County. Oh, and Virginia. One in and yes, in Virginia, and yeah. the other one's in Maryland. So we do um, free range, grass fed, no antibiotics, no hormones, no additives, no preservatives. And locally sourced. Yep, locally sourced, locally raised, and just as pure as it can be from the farm. Okay. So our lamb sausage we do with an English style mint sauce, so it has kind of a vinegar base, a little bit tangy. Mm. And then you're gonna get that uh, freshness from chopped tomato and white onion. Mm. And of course, it's in our toasted buttered brioche, split top bun. Oh. So you, anything in that bun is just oh, decadent. Sounds yeah, delicious. Oh, I was like, no, I was just uh, you know getting ready, getting my mind. Um, my mouth was literally watering. So. <laughs> now, before we jump into a few things, you also said that your fries are made every single day here. Yes. Okay. So that was a big component um, when we wanted to elevate your experience coming to a hot dog concept. We fought with the preconceived notion that a hot dog is just a hot dog. <laughs> um, you know, while we've elevated the burger, and we've elevated the cheesesteak, and we've found ways to do things with chicken sandwiches, it's, the hot dog is always kind of a stepchild. Yeah. You know? So we wanted to take a little bit more TLC 
Um, so we all came from fine dining backgrounds and wanted to take that experience and bring it into what we're doing here. Um, so with our fries, that was a big part. We could never do frozen fries. We have to get the blood, love, sweat, and tears blood. every day. Blood was first. You caught that, right? Okay. <laughs> Come on, it's more bruised. <laughs> here. So that's the one we talked about, the lamb being um, locally sourced. So it's locally raised and produced in Loudoun County, Virginia. We yeah. top it with a little bit of an uh, English style mint sauce, chopped onion, and tomato. Then we have our banh mi dog over here. So our banh mi dog is a take on the Vietnamese style sandwich, a banh mi. So my grandmother is a French Vietnamese chef. Um, so this is inspired by all of my afternoons with her where she'd show up with banh mi's or my dad would. Um, so it has a little bit of a, our personal spin on it, but it has sriracha mayo, um, pickled daikon and carrots, cucumber, jalapeno, and cilantro, of course. And it's on a 100% beef dog, so it's an uncured beef dog. Um, no nitrates, no preservatives, again, in a natural casing, and it's in our split top toasted brioche. Enjoy. Yes! <laughs> oh, I wanna, oh wait, let's get some drinks. <laughs> Chardonnay for you. Thank you. And a cozy rosy for me. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, as you can see, we're not just having burgers and some sodas. Hawk Dog is doing it on a totally different level that they're allowing us to not just enjoy an elevated dog experience, but we're also having it with wine. They thought of everything. Now, can I please eat? Please. Oh my God. Right, go ahead. All right. I'm going to cut this one in half. Okay. Oh my God. Cut yours in half too. So that we can taste them both. Oh. Oh my God. I can see the mint on the oh. lamb. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's tender. It's super tender. Can you do it? Yeah. Oh, you want me to pass it? Too? Yeah, I want to pass it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> that's some real skills, y'all. <laughs> Guys, look at that. She talked about it having onions, tomatoes. It's a lamb sausage in case there's that mint. And then look at this. Oh my gosh, this bun. Here we go. All right, you wanna do it? Here we go. Here we go. Cheers. Ah. <laughs> mm. I almost wanna scream for Chloe right now. <laughs> that I wasn't so expecting good. that. Oh my God. Mind blown. The onions and the tomatoes are so fresh. It's like they picked them up from the farm today. Oh my God, so crisp and it's sweet. There's something sweet happening on top. Mm. Mm. The lamb is packed with so much flavor. It's so juicy. Oh my God. They, they did that. Wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> that just said ladies first. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah. Wait, we gotta do. We gotta do a twist. Here we go. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put it in your mouth. You put it in mine. Here we okay. go. This. Oh wait. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. Cools the temperature. Um, this is it. It's beyond good. Yeah. And it's can well we, balanced. It's well balanced, but also that salt, their salt comes directly from the hot dog itself. No, this is, 
amazing. And the only reason the rest of this is not in the rest of my mouth is because we have so much more to go. But my compliments to the chef, guys, we could end the episode here with just these two dogs. But give us a second, we have more to go. Cheers, I'm drinking. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Ay caramba. Or in our culture we say, shit. <laughs> All right, so we have a French onion burger here for you. We do our burger smash burger style. So we're gonna do a triple patty, dry aged ground ribeye beef. We're gonna generously season that. We've smashed white onions into the patties themselves. They have a gorgeous sear. We then caramelize some beautiful garlic mushrooms, topping everything off, a little bit of Gruyere cheese. We have our onion jam in there, which is a sweet, savory sauce, and a little bit of mayo to bind everything together. Enjoy. <laughs> Ooh. Look at, wow, wow. Oh, this is thick. This is a lot of meat here. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> All right. Nice. No, 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 man. You're doing it first. Let me see. Ooh, child. Look at all that heat coming out of that burger. Ooh. See this? This is heaven and juiciness here. Oh, it's sin. That's what it is. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me try this. Oh, wow. It's about to get crazy. Look at that cheesiness. That I get sexual, guys. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> is it good? He can't talk. He can't talk. Mm. He can't talk. <laughs> wow. He can't talk. It's that good. It's that good. All right. It's sweet. Mm. Savory. <sighs> And juicy. Guys, I've never had a burger with three patties at one time. That's a, that's the truth. We just had a whole conversation about this. Mm. Mm. So that juice just running all over it. That is great. Wow. Wow. Guys, let me tell you what I also love about it. Because usually wow. sometimes when you have a lot of condiments, you have cheese, the bun can kind of get like soft. But the bun here is still crispy and still thick, and it is, it is just great. That's, that's it. So, when I bit into it, I was expecting sogginess. Everything held its composition throughout. Everything. The doughiness of the bread. The, there's still, even though these onions are cooked, there's still the crunchiness of the onion. The, you saw the pull away on the burger. And this is the part that I didn't expect. The edge of the burgers had a tiny crunch. That's what topped it off for me. I don't know how a place that's supposed to make hot dogs figured out a way to master the burger. They better stop. Because we have a one bite rule. And it's really hard to do I, right I now. I think we're gonna break this one bite rule. Oh my, he's more. breaking the one bite rule. <laughs> oh, look at that thing, it's, oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. So good, so good. It's amazing. All right, up next, we have a lobster roll and the hot fries. Hot fries. Hot fries. <laughs> All right. And they're made freshly every day, so I'm excited to eat this. Here we go. All righty, so now we have our lobster roll. So we do a New England style lobster roll, which is going to be Maine lobster. Lightly dressed a little bit of mayo, lemon, black pepper, and chopped celery. It is a chilled lobster. Um, we're gonna put that in our New England style toasted split top brioche bun. A Little bit of arugula and shredded lettuce in there just to keep everything nice and crisp. Now we also have our hand cut Idaho fries. We're doing these hot style, so we're dressing them in a little bit of curry ketchup and sriracha, sweet, savory. 
one of my favorite things on the menu are dressed in curry ketchup, just saying. Then last but not least, we have our kimchi top. So it's gonna be your nostalgic favorite, a crispy tater top dressed in a beautiful gochujang mayo. Little bit of Korean barbecue sauce, which we make here in house, all of these sauces, little hot honey, scallion, and of course, generously topped with kimchi. And fries, hots. little bell. Holtz. Holtz fries. How are we saying it? Hot? Holtz. 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 You gotta say what you're. Holtz. You gotta, you gotta Holtz. elevate your chest. Get it. Holtz. <laughs> Let's get into this lobster. Oh my god. All the you know, the fries and the fries have been out for a pinch. Okay, right. They're in their peak specialness. It's like those flowers that bloom like every 30 years or something like that. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what Chloe was talking about. These are bangers. I don't, these are like the stuff you get at the boardwalk. Mm. Oh my God. <clears throat> you know it's good when you go right back. Right, exactly. I'm picky, but you're really picky about mm, fries. That's spicy. That's mm -hmm. You don't need any ketchup. At all. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you gonna go for or? I'm sorry, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. Let's Look see. at that. Oh, wow. Ooh, take a bite. It's falling apart. Oh, my God. No, this one's for me. Mine's just so good. Why is that so good? Even your kimchi went well so over the top. What? That makes no sense. Hold on. Try again. <clears throat> Wait, that makes no sense. Why does that taste so good? Automatically tastes that vinegar, right? You, it's sweet. It's honey. Their chefs are... Whoever came up with the concept for bringing the flavors together, they're amazing. So Holt Dogs, Holt Dogs, actually has locations inside of the Nat Stadium as well. They're not just in Virginia, they're in DC, they're here in Virginia, but they're also at the Nat Stadium. So when you go to that next football, football board, shows how much I know about sports. When you go, when you go, when you go to that next baseball game, make sure that you check out their stand because this stuff is beyond. Yeah, that's a try. This, You're so, missing out. So we've had, a regular hot dog, mm -hmm. a lamb dog, yep. a burger. Oh, a burger. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to go to New England. A lobster, a lobster roll. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You put like half of it in. <laughs> mm. Tender and sweet. And it's cold. I love that. Mmm. 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 I think my biggest thing I've been impressed is the buns are not soggy. The buns are not soggy, and they hold everything. It holds. I appreciate that. Nothing's fell through the center. Not all. Oh my god. Wow. They said one bite roll, right? Yeah. One yeah, no man. Mmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, guys. As much as I want to stay and finish the tots, the fries, the lobster, I have to show you this awesome town that's right outside of Washington, D.C. called Arlington. Now, it's a county, and we're in the... East Falls Church. East Falls Church. Now, we're going to explore all sorts of parts of Arlington County throughout this channel, right? But today, it's all about East Falls Church. Come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And then after that, we're going to come back and get some dessert. Dessert. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are actually here in Arlington County, um, and we're in the neighborhood of East Falls Church. So this is a neighborhood that's actually jam-packed with a lot of history, a lot of culture, um, but a lot of people are actually wondering, what does the name Falls Church come from? Yeah, I've actually been wondering that. <laughs> Where does Falls Church come from? It actually comes from a church that is right in the heart of the city. I mean, this church has been around since 1769. Wow. Yeah, it's a long time. It's actually still in service today, right? It's still operational. Wow, we still have services on Sunday. That's correct. Wow. Yeah, and when we think about the average price point, so in a neighborhood like this, as of July, 2023, um, the average median price point is 1.3 million. 
Yeah. And if we're looking at Arlington as a whole, it's going to be around 870,000. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, like a local attraction um, in this neighborhood is called the State Theater. Mm. Yeah, so this is a venue that is jam packed with uh, comedy shows, musical live performances. And when we get to the style of homes, you're going to find your vintage traditional brick style mm. and your newly modern contemporary single family home as well as townhomes. So what I'm hearing is that people actually buy the houses, but the community is actually so amazing that they buy the houses, tear them down, and then they rebuild. Yeah. Like gonna... that one, right there. Yeah, I mean, Amanda, you have it right. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of tear down in this neighborhood. It's because a lot of the homes date back to the 1800s. Wow, so that makes sense. That's why people are really kind of updating the homes themselves, but they just want to make sure that they have the community. Correct. Very cool. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and just a bonus for you guys. I mean, there's also the East Falls Metro. So if you're trying to get to DC, you just to hop in and skip away. So we have proximity, we have communability, we have great food, mm -hmm. and we have a community that's really close knit. That's correct. What is there not to like? That's beautiful. And now we have dessert. Dessert. Okay. All right, guys, let's go. All right. Oh. Here we are. Wow. I don't, what? Glory, you found, where do we begin? You found a way to put ice cream on a bun? Oh, yeah. yeah. So we have our Arctic dog, and it is our split top bun that you get on our hot dog, our lobster roll, our sausages. But instead of just buttering and toasting it, because that wasn't, you know, decadent enough, mm. we decided to caramelize cinnamon sugar. So we have three scoops of triple premium vanilla ice cream, a little drizzle of caramel, and chocolate sauce. <laughs> she loves ice cream too, y'all. Oh, we're not more than you. Uh, yeah, not more than you. Mm. It's good. But that's just the ice cream. So this is the first dessert that I've seen where you have to use all. All. Utensils. All utensils. And I'm like cutting it into the brioche. <laughs> it's like French toast and ice cream at the, I need a fork. Wow. Wow. You do need all three. You do need all three. She wasn't lying. Wow, look at that. Look at that. And I'm just going to dip it into the ice cream. Mm. And worth it. Worth it. Amanda didn't cut me some, so let me cut Sorry, me every single much. time. I'm a horrible wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're a great wife. <laughs> um, this, this is the way you, you end a really nice meal. Dessert? Yes. good yeah that's good and, it's, and as it melts guys it gets better it melts and it goes right into the bun yeah so you could just have a talkable moment you could be you just having a kiki yeah. talking hanging out and you're not even mad that your ice cream is melted because it goes into the bun and it makes a whole nother composition of flavor so i am hats off to hot dogs the innovation the thought the food, it is just beyond. They took the time to take an American classic and take it to a whole nother level. It's amazing. It's woman owned. It's woman owned yeah. all day. That's a big deal. It's also minority owned all day. And we're just waiting for somebody to go to the military so that we can also say, <laughs> so that we can also say that it's first responder owned. But no, in all seriousness, guys, if you see this amazing logo, Make sure that you stop inside. And if you see Chloe and her awesome mom, Pam, give them a wave, give them a hug, and try something on that menu because you will not regret it. This is one of the best experiences I've had because I was underestimating the power of a hot, hot dog. Dog. All right, guys. <laughs> what an experience. Well, I will tell you that I have not been eating this food for my own health. <laughs> I've been eating it for you. Now, a few things are gonna happen. I'm gonna ask you, number one, comment below for somewhere that you want us to go that has a unique experience, very similar to hot dogs or any of the other restaurants that we reviewed. And then next, you're gonna hit that like button because every time you hit that like button, I gain another pound. <laughs> I don't 
don't want to hit again too many pounds. Okay, well, you, we should should have picked a different type of channel at this point. <laughs> should have a different, different type of channel. Got to pass that. <laughs> All right. And then finally, guys, I want you to subscribe and I want you to share because these are awesome restaurants that are right here in our community. And I want to make sure that other people are getting an opportunity to get to know these places too. So there's a little bit of heart there. I want you guys to say, yo, I love this place, but man, Jim, Sam, Trey, you gotta try this place. And let's go next Saturday. So go ahead and hit that subscribe and go ahead and hit that share. Now, guys, until next time, I'm your favorite host, Amanda. AD. And 